Hi, this is Donnie bringing our weekly Bible reading devotional as we continue to read through the New Testament together. And we are reading Galatians. I want to talk about what it means to walk in the Spirit. Paul says that in Galatians chapter 5. Walk by the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So what does that mean to walk by the Spirit? Well, I, th- I think we need to get a picture of, of what Galatians is all about. You, you may have gotten some of this in your reading. That Paul is really asking a couple of big questions. One is, how is it that we have a right relationship with God? And his answer is, we trust in Jesus and not in ourselves. And then there's a follow-up question. How do we continue then to grow and mature in our relationship with God? And the answer is the same. We trust in Jesus and not in ourselves. And the reason this is such a big deal is because the Galatians are beginning to adopt a gospel plus. Jesus plus. We need Jesus. What he's done is great, but we also need the works of the law to be circumcised, to do these other things. We've got to really add to it. And Paul's saying, no, no, no. Jesus is all you need. Trust him. So what does this have to do with walking in the Spirit? Well, I think Charles Spurgeon helps us here with his statement that I love when he says, it is ever the Holy Spirit's work to turn our eyes away from self to Jesus. That's what Paul's trying to get us to do here in the book of Galatians. And when he says walk by the Spirit, he's directing our hearts into life in the Spirit where the focus is on what Christ has done, where he is our source, he is our sufficiency, and we look to him, not to ourselves. And as we do that, that's when the fruit of the Spirit begins to flow in our lives. Not because we're trying really hard to be loving and patient and kind, but because we're yielding our lives to the Holy Spirit. We're looking to Jesus, trusting that what he has done for us is enough. We are accepted. We are loved because of Christ. And that produces in us. The, the fruit of the Spirit. So, it, so it's as if the Holy Spirit is, is the one ever wanting to take, our, take us by the face and just say, look, look, look away from yourself. Look to Jesus. That's where my life will flow in you. So let's practice looking to Jesus this week, trusting in him, resting all our hopes on him, and see what comes from our lives as we do that. I'll look forward to talking to you next week.